we uh, made a video about the vertical diet. Starting cardio now. Time, 1.47. Oh my goodness, that is finished wobbling back to my car. I don't know if you can tell, can you see that sweat? Yikes, just finished up one hour of cardio, a mix of running and walking on an incline. Literally an hour straight of cardio. The reason being, this weekend, as I mentioned, probably in my last vlog, uh, my brother graduated from college. I had a bunch of people over. There was a lot, a lot of junk food. And I just went off. Yesterday, this morning, the leftovers. Probably, I might have eaten like seven, 8,000 calories yesterday. Pretty certain I did. And then continued it into this morning. So I used to feel absolutely disgusting and I needed to just go sweat and burn calories. Even on Sunday, which is supposed to be my rest day, I just had to, I felt so gross. Still feel gross. But I guess what that means, probably for the next couple of days, I'm gonna try to cut back, eat in a deficit a little, and lose some of this excess weight I just put on. But I need to stop doing that. Eating so much dang food. Why can I eat so much? It's a problem. I'm working on it. Trying to fix it. I know you guys like it. I know you guys like watching me eat food. It's weird, but I need to stop doing it because it's not cool. I'm gonna go do some shower. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Welcome to the video. So I'm outside of Walmart here, picking up a lawnmower, and uh, I walked up to the pickup lady, and she goes, is it raining outside? And I said, nope, just worked out. Sorry that I am disgusting. All right, so I just checked my YouTube channel and we are right now at 1,999 subscribers. So I'm sitting here watching the live subscriber count and we're gonna catch the 2,000. I mean, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but uh, I'm... I'm chilling. Who wants to be number 2,000? Come on now, it's been like five minutes. Somebody take it. Join the family, cause it's the year of the vlog. I don't got all day now, come on. Yeah, actually I do, kind of. I mean, I'm, I'm not doing anything, I'm just chilling. Let's go, there it is. 2,000 subscribers. First of all, I just wanna say, well I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the lighting fix so I don't look like an Oompa Loompa. Is it gonna, get like less orange here. Do I need to move a little bit? Set, set this down here. But I do want to say, that is so cool. Um, 2,000 people who believe in what I'm doing enough uh, to hit that subscribe button and follow along this journey. That's amazing. And we're going to continue to grow. We've been going like crazy. It took like almost two years to get to that first 1,000 and it's been like a couple months to get the next 1,000. I can't thank you enough. Anyone who subscribed, if you were here from the beginning or if you just joined, thank you. We've been going a lot over the last couple of days. We hit that 2,000 a lot quicker than I thought we were going to and there's a reason for that. So last week, we uh, made a video about the vertical diet. Camera's a little tilted here. And the video has done crazy well. I uploaded it four days ago and it currently has over 11,000 views, which is absolutely ridiculous for videos of mine. But I expected it to do pretty well because I had, you know, I'd seen some stuff and I'd seen videos doing crazy well on it, which is the reason why I made the video. But what I was not expecting from the video is uh, the amount of dislikes. I've gotten so many dislikes and just like not super positive comments on the video because apparently I did it wrong. What I did was basically just eat beef and rice the whole day and um, the diet is more than just beef and rice. And also apparently I came across very complainy in the video which looking back on it, it I was trying to be like entertaining because I figured, you know, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I figured I'm just eating beef and rice the whole day. How can I make a video of me eating the same thing five straight times entertaining somewhat? So I was kind of poking fun at the fact that, you know, I'm eating the same thing the whole day, which was not like a jab at the diet. I didn't say that like it was a bad thing. Apparently all the people in the comments 
thought I was like saying talking smack about the diet and that I did it wrong and so honestly I could care less about having haters I like having haters man this is really the first time that I've had haters on a video so it's kind of cool but it, regardless it's getting a lot of views and that's cool but just need to say for the record wasn't trying to like hate on the diet I definitely messed it up. If any of you have stuck around since watching that video, welcome to the channel. That is awesome. And hopefully if you felt disrespected in any way by the video that I made, I meant no harm. That out of the way, um, we're gonna go to the gym. I know like the last like two vlogs ago, I showed me doing deadlifts. Um, we're doing deadlifts again today. Deadlifts are like the coolest exercise anyway. My favorite exercise, my strongest exercise. So I'm just gonna show more deadlift footage, I guess. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for lunch here today. Because like I said, I'm trying to shed some of the uh, excess calories I had this weekend. So we're eating eight ounces of chicken breast with some Brussels sprouts. So what I will do, when I have like a cheat day or cheat weekend type thing, for the next day or two or maybe even three, I will seriously cut back on the carbs. So usually I'd have like chicken and rice for this meal, but I replaced the rice with some Brussels sprouts because vegetables, less carbs, seriously reduces the total amount of calories that we have. So this is my meal. I'm, I'm gonna get a thumbnail here. Okay, yeah, so, oh, almost for, oh, forgot. It'd be just silly of me not to put on the sriracha and mustard. If you didn't know before, what have you been doing? All right, now I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you at the gym. Only recorded my top set of deadlifts today. It really was not anything major. 495 for a set of two. Cause I wasn't feeling super strong today. I don't know what it was. Uh, I'm just like I'm a little tired today. Deadlifts didn't go too hot. The rest of the workout was really good. I'm kind of rushed for time, so usually when I have like a shorter amount of time to get a workout in, I tend to like ramp up the intensity a little bit and have a good workout. So deadlifts not the best today, and I decided not to record anything else. But it turned out to be a good workout nonetheless, which is. Nice. So I was about to drive over to the gym for the third time today to hit another cardio session. I hit cardio, I did about 25 minutes earlier this morning and worked out. I'm about to do another session of cardio because we're trying to burn these calories. But I got like 30 seconds there and I saw some dude going for a run. And I was like, why the heck am I driving to the gym for the third time today to do cardio when I can just walk out of my house and do cardio. So we're gonna go for a run. It's a nice night. The sun's kind of setting right now, so we're gonna enjoy it. Probably hit a quick like two mile run or something. Uh, not really sure. I'm just gonna go as long as I feel. Catch you guys after. <laughs> Woo! Run done. In about 13 minutes of running, I think that was about two miles. Felt dang good, but now, I'm wiped, so I'll exercise for a day. But we out here trying to burn those calories. It's a grind. Oh, 188.4 pounds. Yesterday I weighed 194.2 pounds. So from the mix of a solid lift, two cardio sessions, and a lot of calorie depletion, we lost almost six pounds in the last day. You know what, let me put some clothes on and I'll tell you guys a little more about like the amount of food I ate yesterday. Okay, so yesterday's total calories and macros, because I know you guys like numbers. We ended up eating 1,736 total calories. Is that focusing? And there are the macros on the day, about 200 grams of protein, 150 carbs, and like 36 grams of fat. Those are really low macros. And I exercised a lot yesterday. That is definitely not something to do consistently. A really restrictive day like that is something that I will only do for one day after a big cheat day. And that would be like a very large cheat day, like seven, 8,000 plus calories. And then from now, you know, moving forward, um, I'll just go back to kind of more balance 
a small deficit if I still need it, but otherwise I'm not gonna maintain that kind of restriction. And like I said, I lost six pounds from yesterday to today. So that is, I, it's not something that you should try to maintain. But if you can manage a day like that after a cheat day and then you can go back into a kind of normal routine, it does, I find I use it to help balance out a little bit. But that's probably gonna be it for the vlog today. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of stuff you wanna see in the vlog next. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, what are you doing? Hit that button down below. Join the family 2000 plus strong now because it is the year of the vlog. And we're gonna continue growing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.